Hey, how you doing econ students? This is Jacob Clifford. This is a quick hitter video to give you some tips for macroeconomics unit two. Most of unit two is super easy. There's GDP, what counts and doesn't count, unemployment, and the idea of inflation. But at the end of the unit, there's some equations and math that you have to learn and practice. A few days ago, I saw something awesome on the AP Economics teacher Facebook page. It was a post by Mr. Russell at a Popka High School in Florida. Have any of you seen this way to solve GDP deflator questions? A student suggested it and it works perfectly. You draw this on your paper and hold your hand over the missing part and then solve it. If you're missing the real GDP, you divide the nominal GDP by the deflator. If you're missing the deflator, you divide the nominal by the real, just like the formula. If you're missing the nominal, you multiply the real by the deflator. This is an awesome way to remember the equation. My hat's off to that student, Christian Letty, for coming up with the idea. Hopefully that helps you, and also remember that it works with the CPI equation. All you have to do is set it up like this. If they give you the CPI and the value of the market basket in some given year, you can use this to calculate the market basket in the base year. Is this the part where one of us faints? Oh, I am so on it, dude. And one more trick to help you set up this triangle, I want you to remember the acronym NERD. N-R-D, the nominal GDP, the real GDP, and the deflator. And to remember the CPI triangle, just remember CPI. The current value of the market basket, the price adjusted by inflation, that gives you the amount of inflation, the CPI. If you need more help calculating CPI, make sure to take a look at this video or the practice sheet in the Ultimate Review Packet. Thanks for watching, Till next time.